What's going on guys? So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you could stream on YouTube and Twitch at the same time using OBS. Now I'm assuming you guys already know how to use OBS, so I'm not really going to get into how to set all this up. If you guys want that in a separate video, let me know in the comments below, but we're going to get right into this. I'm trying to make it as quickly and as simple as possible. So the first thing you want to download, obviously, is OBS if you don't have it already. So you just download a Windows, Mac, you know, whatever you want. Once you have it downloaded, what you want to do is go to this site right here, Restream.io. I will link everything's going to be linked in the description below. So when you get on the site, you're going to see a page like this. So this is pretty much where you pick what you want to stream on. As you see, they have Twitch, D Live, uh, you know, half of the stuff I've never heard of. So what you want to do is just pick whatever you want to stream on. So for example, you would pick Twitch as one of them. Oh, I already have Twitch here. That's why I popped up. And then you want to go and pick YouTube. Uh, where is it? I just saw it two seconds ago. YouTube Gaming. Well, actually, when you pick YouTube Gaming, it automatically says YouTube Stream Now, so don't worry about that. Make sure this is checked so it's on. Now, that means that both of these are connected. So what I can do is I can change the titles of the stream from here. So this is from my live stream yesterday. I can select the game. Social Alerts, I believe you can, yeah, you connect your Facebook, Twitter. So another thing you also want to download is you go over here to this little chat box, and you want to download the chat. Now, the chat's going to look like this. Let me just open it up. Now this is the chat that's going to be coming from your YouTube and your Twitch at the same time. So all your chat's going to be in here. That way you don't have to go back and forth. Now let me show you how to get it to OBS. So you click back to the multi-streaming and what you want to do is copy this stream key right here. Now all you got to do is hit copy key. Now once you copy, you go to the OBS, you go to settings. You go to stream. Now, after you connect your account on the Restream website, this should be an option. Now, you want to pick the RTMP one. You want to have server on auto detect, and then you want to copy the stream key here. That way, it's pretty much acting. This stream key is pretty much going for both of these at the same time. So once you do that, you know, if you have your other settings set, I don't know, it depends on what you guys, how you guys like your stuff set up. Um, but yeah, once you have that set, you honestly should be good to go. So what I like to do, is if you're only using one monitor and not a dual monitor, you, you should separate, well, I like to separate it. I close out the chat box on here because you don't really need it when you stream. So I like to just low, like make it smaller so I can see my view, my viewer count. So I'll put this over here. I'll put my YouTube. I put my YouTube like over here. That way I can see how much viewers I have on YouTube. I have my Elgato, I mean, not my Elgato. I have my OBS running right here. There's nothing playing because I have my Elgato running for this, so that's why there's nothing on the screen. And then I open up the chat, and then I pretty much, this is how I play. When I play my game on the other monitor, um, and I look, all my chats are coming here. I can still see the views over here, and I can see the views over here. So once you hit start streaming, wait, let me make this private. So that way no one thinks I'm crazy. All right, so once you have that all set, you hit start streaming. It might seem complicated at first, but trust me, when you get used to it, it's very easy and it's very effective because you got two platforms now. As you guys can see, I'm going live on Twitch, showing my webcam border. And then on YouTube, I am also live, since you are live, has a stream health, all that stuff. So that's pretty much how you do it. That's how you stream on YouTube and Twitch. I hopefully I explain that as simply and easy as possible. Uh, if you have any questions, ask in the comments below. I'll be sure to answer all of them. Sorry, they had a little problem with the chat box. So what we're going to do is test it out. So someone comments on your YouTube. Like say you go in the chat. I'm just going to type in yo. I don't know. Normally it takes a little bit for it to get on here. Oh yeah, there. As you can see, it shows that it's from YouTube also. And then if someone types in on your Twitch... And as you can see, it pops up on the Twitch. So that's why you don't really need your stream chat open. I just have it to where I can see the viewer count right here. And boom, there you have it. Streaming on YouTube and Twitch at the same time. And it doesn't take up any extra like bandwidth or anything. So it's very simple, it's very effective. And I hope this could help someone out. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys hit that thumbs up if this video helped you. See you guys next time. Peace.